Hi everyone, I'm Cam LaValle. And I'm Emily Venuti. It's one of the best parts of the holidays or one of the most stressful parts depending on the kid you have. It's the mall picture with Santa, day three of our 12 days of web extras. Now, it looks a little different this year with the pandemic going on. You can't really get up there with Santa like you used to, but the Oakdale Mall has some pretty cool, you know, adaptations. Yeah, and I know when I was a kid, I was a big fan of this day when my mom would take us out. I loved, I loved taking pictures with oh, Santa. I was so scared. Of the Santa. Easter Bunny scared me. Santa was always my favorite because I could tell him what I wanted for Christmas. Oh, they both terrified <laughs> me to no end. Well, luckily this year, kids still have the option to go in. They can still talk to Santa. Like you said, it does look a little different. So we're going to head inside what they're calling Whoville in the Oakdale Mall and see how Santa was able to adapt this year. I'm here with Oakdale Mall manager Courtney Rose and Courtney thank you for joining Absolutely. me. So obviously taking pictures with Santa is something that family and kids really look forward to every year. Things are a lot different this year. How did you have to approach this? Um, you know we wanted to approach it in a way that kids can still have that experience with Santa but obviously in a safe manner. So we had thought about doing um, a snow globe with Santa. So there is a plexiglass dividing the kids from Santa. They can still interact with them. Um, so it kind of still has that magic of sitting with Santa, but with that safe approach. And what are some of the precautions that people have to take when coming to take their pictures? So we um, have a reservation link this year. So we're encouraging people to make the reservation, which will help with obviously social distancing and not waiting in line. Uh, we do sanitize everything in between each visit. Uh, we do require masks to be worn. And like I said, with the plexiglass and the snow globe, there's that social distancing right there. Have you seen a lot of people still coming out to take their pictures with Santa? Yep, absolutely. Um, we have people who have utilized a reservation link, and if they don't, they just want to come, you know, and have a chance that if there is an opening, they're more than welcome to do that as well. And from here until Christmas, when can people come down? So Santa's here every day 11 to 7, um, as well as Sundays 12 to 6, and he's here Christmas Eve 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Before he gets pretty busy after That's that. Right, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Courtney, well, thanks for talking. I think Emily and I might try and sneak in there for a picture, I too. I think you guys should. All right. I think absolutely. All right, thank you. Thank you. So I know Emily mentioned how terrified she was as a kid taking a picture with Santa, but it wasn't so bad. Plexiglass helps. Maybe my mom will like it. I'm sure that that looks like it might be the uh, Christmas card this year. I think it's the first one with me not sobbing that I've ever had with Santa. So there you go. <laughs> that was that was amazing. And thank you so much to Courtney for taking the time to really explain how they were able to make this magical place happen this year. So definitely make an appointment. Come on down. I like the appointments because usually you see a line around the mall pretty much. So the appointments make it super easy to get in and out. So it's a great idea, honestly. Um, but yeah, so great, great day, great time hanging out with Santa, and tune in tomorrow for our day four of Web Extras.